This is Eyewitness News Weekends in High Definition. Good morning, and thanks for joining us on this Sunday. I'm Haley Bianco. We'll get to this morning's top stories in just a minute, but first, let's get a check of the forecast with meteorologist Kevin Dirk. Good morning, Kevin. An update into a death investigation that spans two counties. Authorities say they are digging up a Sailorsburg property in connection with the disappearance of 42 year old Holly Grimm. All right, thanks, Kevin. And now for some political news. Donald Trump finally admitted that President Obama was born in the U.S. after years of suggesting otherwise. In Washington, D.C., the Republican presidential nominee acknowledged the president's place of birth after challenging it for years. Haley? Mark Fatula Gulen denies involvement in the failed coup. Meanwhile, Turkish American protesters I met today are angry and fearful of what is happening to their home country. David Tobin from Jefferson Township died last night in a car crash. The car he was riding in lost control and rolled over several times. Tobin did not have his seatbelt on and was partially ejected from the car. The crash occurred at the Casey Highway Junction with I-81 North. That's right, Mark. I'm at Green Ridge Plaza where a storm has left hundreds of people without power. As you can see behind me, crews are working to get the power lines back up and running. Crew members tell me about 1,700 people were without power today. That number is now down to about 20 customers. Joins us in the studio with more about the tragedy. Haley? Mark, a fire spread through a home in the village of Overlook before 6 this morning, taking the life of Southern Columbia Area High School field hockey coach Ellen Sosnowski. Neighbors I spoke with couldn't believe the sight they woke up to. Live in Scranton, Haley Bianco, Eyewitness News. Live in the Control Center, Haley Bianco, Eyewitness News. Reporting in Mahanoy City, Haley Bianco, Eyewitness News. Well, that'll do it for this Sunday's morning edition of Eyewitness News. Join us again at 6 and 11. Until then, have a great weekend.